Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Space Engineers. The sun has come up, which means I've been doing a little bit of work. The thing is, funny as it is, remember how I mentioned that, like, one of the landing gears on the Evanhog was broken? It's not broken anymore. I think this happened when I had my oops. When I went through and reloaded after the oops, I think the Ebon Hawk fixed itself. Which is kind of awesome. I'm okay with this. And we still have the base to finish, of course. Whew. That's so cool. I love that little effect. Hi there! I've been a little bit busy. You can see it over my shoulder a little bit. But we're almost finished with the welder! She still doesn't have a name. I've gotten one suggestion, but that's okay. I'm sure the names will come in and we'll do a poll on Twitter and it'll be fun. It'll be great. Now, to see what I've been doing. All I did, pretty much, was go ahead and build up a little bit of a base here for the engines to sit on top of. Which brings up a couple of design things that I'm going to need to do to make this thing look pretty. Which is fine. I did contemplate getting a new welder. Why don't we go ahead and do that now? Because, yeah, one of the things that I like about this in particular is that, yeah, I've got the parts I need for the next one. I'm going to put four in, but I've only built three so that I can actually access them all. So, that's a thing. But, anyway, what I want to do is... I don't want the welder, uh, or the grinder. I do want the welder, at the very least. I don't know about the drill. I haven't been doing much hand drilling. The Azure has been pretty good about that. Maybe a little bit faster drilling. There we go. That should be good. And we'll go ahead and swap out the parts. Why don't we go ahead and pick the welder up. Pick that up. Put that in there. Put that in there. Blah, 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 blah. And tell it to disassemble all. That works. Get some uh, gear out of it and whatnot. Grinder and that welder. No, not that one. That grinder and that welder. It's interesting that. Let's go stand up here where I can get it in the camera. So that's the welder. It's red. But th that was the grinder. Gosh. Ugh. Anyway, this is the grinder, and that is the welder. And it's purple. I'm kind of in heaven right now, so allow me my moment. Anyway, let's do some work. <laughs> <laughs> but I have gone through and gotten all of the components in here that I need. As you can see, that's all finished. And I did get the powered. So the reactor's online with uranium in it. I just kind of stole some from the Ebon Hawk. It's not like she's using it, right? She's kind of been sedentary, sitting over there going, Will you drive me already? Come on! 
We got places to go, things to do. Kessel runs to beat a certain amount of parsecs, which is unit. <clears throat> okay, I I feel like I have to make this known, ladies and gentlemen. A parsec is a unit of distance, not time. Okay. Whereas the speed of light is a given distance that light can travel over a particular period of time. I'm getting technical, let's go. So, hmm. I'm almost thinking that I think let's do that armor panels no armor ramps no armor blocks yes and how are we going to do this smooth smooth Arr. where are those half blocks I know there's the mod- ah, there we are! Light armor slab, light armor slip. Here we go. Put it in number four, because this is stuff we'll rarely freaking use. Make it boring. For the moment. Okay, <sighs> And they're not really gonna sit too hunky-dory up here. But that's okay. It, it, it's at least something to cover up the extension there on the engines. Make it look pretty. from here, well, let's see, what kind of components do I need for, so I'm done with, no, I need one more engine, so that's gotta stay, but a bunch of these can go, like the programming block, the timer block, med bay assembler, those can go. Let me see if I actually did it. Yes, I did. Compact antenna, large steel tube, computer, and construction component. That ought to be easy. Two. I'm out of computer, so I gotta go to the assembler. So, a construction component. And let's see here. Ah, computer. Sweet. Awesome sauce. So, this thing needs to communicate with base. So this is a must. This has to go on here. But I'm gonna put it here. Wait, small steel tube? Are you... It's not large steel tubes, it's small steel tubes? How did I miss that? Oh well. These things happen. This one... I feel like one of the fairies from Sleeping Beauty or something. Make it pink! Make it blue! Make it purple! Now let's see. That was fast. So, she has an antenna. That's a thing. She has gyros, power, all that jazz. I really can't think of anything else she needs other than, like, maybe lights. But that can be done later. OK. 
Come on. I'll have to jump over this stuff. It's getting to be tight quarters in here. And, I mean, you guys can like, go through and critique my design. I'm okay with this. I am perfectly secure with this. And the fact that I'm not secure in my ability to build a ship. Or design it and make it look pretty. Wow! That was really fast. Super fast. Yeah, I have a feeling we're gonna have to do that a lot. Jet engine over the contraption. Now, what I'm thinking is we don't need the antenna anymore. For these here, why don't we go ahead and do these? Right. It'll give a little bit of a slope. Yeah, it's gonna clip into it. That's gonna be annoying. No. That. That's actually really cool. Then, can do that again with... I'm a genius! This is gonna look pretty! And it gets a little bit of a curving effect. That's cool! Right. Pretty sure it can't go much further down because of all the piping we have in there from the back of the cockpit. <clears throat> I may have to float for this. But that's okay. I'm really excited for this thing to get done because I actually am like super excited to take this thing for a spin no that one crap I did that wrong and we will do this again here more times. This is actually working out much better than I anticipated. Like, I expected this thing to look like junk. Just absolute junk. Okay, it's not too fast that it's uncontrollable. 
That's one of the things I was afraid of with, like, the upgraded grinder, is that it's going to be just too fast to be controlled. Um... I'm not liking the aesthetic here. Not liking it. I do have an idea. That might look cool. Very streamlined. Yes. Very streamlined. Okay. <clears throat> this can be done. Started here. Let me see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. That's where the other engine's going to sit. Very nice. I'm really liking this. I need to experiment with some of these blocks a lot more. Because sometimes they have really, really neat effects. kind of morphing around and kind of giving that engine a little bit of space, <clears throat> which I am perfectly okay with. Right, so... That's time. I may go a little bit longer. No. Sorry, guys. 
It's just, you know, the, the, the nuances of the ship and whatnot. It's taken some time, you know? And that is not a bad thing. Anything worth doing right should take some time, right? Finish this up. So, because I want to see this come into fruition before I close out the episode. There we go. measure we're gonna do the inverted corner because reasons it'll mark out where the reactor is really cool. Because otherwise, I just did this for absolutely nothing. But that's fine. Because, yeah, you live and learn, right? And then get less, of course. Come on, get out of the way. Ding, ding, ding. And those will put in corners. Corners. a little bit weird, but that's fine. It'll be okay. Doom, 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 doom. That's not the one I wanted.
Yeah, I want to get this done because I really, really want to take the sucker for a drive next episode. I really want to see her fly. Skadoosh. And we should have large steel tubes. I took out all of my large steel tubes. That's all we need. Oh, that's right. Left and right. Grrr. Let's see what we can do about that. But... I want to get these done first. We don't need these huge engines like I've been using for the sides and whatnot because why does that look like it's off center? Yeah, we don't need the big ones for the sides like I have been using because um, I want to have that's better. She's not going to have to go into any sort of, like, strafing motion very often. But, you know, up and down, forward and back, she's going to need a little bit of oomph. So, she looks pretty beastly. I mean, let's jump inside. Yeah, I did turn on the power so that I could get in here. Wow. Okay. I have engines on the side of my face. It's so weird that it darkens out that much. Some of the eye effect needs to be worked on. But, get us some small engines on the side here. To go back and forth. Yeah, I'll have to work that up. I'll I'll get that worked up uh, off screen <clears throat> because yeah, like I said, I want to I want to fly this thing next episode. I really do, and I think you guys are kind of on board with me there. At least I hope so. So. For now, this is... See you later. Bye, Dutchie.